What's up, you podcast addicts? Welcome to the Failsafe Weekly Podcast. Joining me, my co-host, Eric Konetsny, a.k.a. Konasty FPV, and Steel Davis, a.k.a. Mr. Steel. I'll be your host here, Ruben Hadegi. And I hope you have some clean chonies on. It's going to be a gnarly ride. Now, let's get on with the show. Three, two, one, zero. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> All right, so let's get started after we've messed up. <laughs> Is it better? We recorded a couple minutes and realized that we aren't recording. So, yeah, we're going to do it again. Let's uh, let's get real with the situation. It is sometime in the morning. It's really early for you guys. And, it's 7 uh, o'clock. It's, it's perfect time. Yeah. Yeah. We don't record these things live for reasons which we <laughs> feel like should not be disclosed. In, in reality, the audio needs to be good. Um, and Skype call audio sucks. So <laughs> This is all truth. This yeah. is all truth. So what we went over, I'll just do a little mini recap. Uh, we established that if you write F you to somebody and you send it in a text and it autocorrects to duck you... Um, no one wants to have a mallard in their face, all right? And the reasoning this is brought up is because Ruben has a mallard, and it's a female mallard to be to be exact, because it's chilling back there with no markings whatsoever. It's trying to blend into the environment so it can protect its little chiclet things, its ducklings, you know, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that was the situation. So if you're gonna write f you to somebody. Make sure it doesn't auto crack to duck you because you just look like an asshole when you send duck you and then you have to auto correct and say f you and it's just yeah, just yeah, just don't hey, do can it. You, can you buy chiclets in uh, Atlanta? Do Hell you know yeah, man! Chiclet, chiclet. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what that is? Yeah, the no. little they look like M and M's, but they're like the Mexican version, the Spanish it, version. Yeah, it, it it's it's like Mexican gum yeah. basically. I don't think that's a thing here do you guys have well, case of out thinking. there we're close enough yeah <laughs> case of dillers to... we got case of dillers we don't got case of diaz i don't know what the heck that is yeah no we uh we're close enough to mexico that's probably why we got those that's why i was wondering i was like <laughs> chicklets <laughs> they're called chicklets dude and like you it's funny because like there was always that joke when people had like those really big squared off like teeth <laughs> We like, always, people would always be like, like mine. Dude, they got chick. <laughs> look at that fool's got chicklets. <laughs> like, a, like Dennis the Menace. Remember Dennis the yeah, Menace? The uh, the movie. You guys ever watched that? Yeah. See, I got those like chicklet, those two big chicklet front teeth. <laughs> Here's what mine are. Yeah, it's like I got two big chicklets in there. I'm gonna get grills though. I'm gonna get you know diamond encrusted. Well, mm. the plastic diamonds. Mm. Damn them grillages though. <laughs> All right, update. So we touched on what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing this week? Or what, what you know? What, what's been what's been going on? Yeah, I was just talking about my uh, my frame, my prototype frame coming in, and I'm gonna just set that up and uh, and put it all together. And um, yeah, we missed out on we were talking about cloning frames, right? How people clone just frames, and it's still even a more shitty frame than the one <laughs> they cloned. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I mean, I I was saying basically that people that are cloning frames are cloning frames that already have flaws in them. Um, like, for example, not to throw anybody under the bus, but I mentioned the QAV R frame, China. <laughs> <laughs> which you know when it came out, it was a pretty direct ripoff of the Alien, um, and the reasoning was behind the QAV R's existence was because at the particular time in life. Uh, get FPV was trying to get Chad and myself to fly for them, and they knew that we hated the current frames, like the QAV 250, and the, and we didn't hate the Sharpoo 210, but it was just a unibody bottom plate, which I wasn't a fan of, and it was a little bit too narrow as far as for me to carry a GoPro as like a Hero 4, which is what we were flying at the time. It felt a little top-heavy, kind of felt like you were balancing a very heavy uh, mallard on the top of your head while you were flying around. So, anyways, that was the reasoning behind the QAV R's existence. And when I got one in the mail and I put it together, I immediately said, "This is going to break right here." <laughs> um, and the top, the bottom plate, in the bottom, the top and the bottom plates were going to just explode on impact. And I could tell that based off of building it and just looking at it. And yes, exactly what happened and what I predicted. 
bottom plates explode on impact because there isn't a sandwich plate between the, the arms and the top and the bottom plate. And also the bottom plate was on top of the arms. Um, it was just like a poorly designed, very quick fix to try to bring uh, excitement to Chad and myself by making a little bit wider X frame. That was pretty simple to build. Um, but yeah, didn't end up working out. The QAVR came out. It was kind of a thing. It's actually a pretty decent frame, but at the you end can of the still day, still find that, right? I don't know, man. I have one here that's probably like freaking a year and a half old. That's just hanging out. I built it and was like, nope, and put it back in the box, and it's just been chilling for whenever i have that epic apocalypse situation uh why is that on the screen so that's usually where it breaks <laughs> oh yes yeah right at the shaft right at the base of the shaft yeah. um but yeah i mean those things just kind of oh my god those things just kind of died off i don't know what they do now i don't even know what what's lumineer's main frame now i have no idea uh, dude i have i, I have no R? idea i don't think no i don't know i think it's still the the charpu frame you know what we can do we can we can look we can look, we we can can look, it look. google it yeah oh snap and That's the beauty so of this is uh so you're recording for your youtube channel because we've had that a lot of requests right yeah. now so you could actually bring up your screen if you want to dang well, so yeah sky. that is one thing so that's gonna be oh, weird though because like people are gonna be looking at us and it's not really like you know it's <laughs> like not like a, a cinematic-esque picture like they're just gonna be staring at us. It's gonna be weird, dude. The internet is choking hard because you guys are, <laughs> you guys are we're just running. Just yeah. where's the soundboard, son? Yeah, you, you should be you should be killing it oh, with the soundboard shit. right now. It steals mythical creature. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, a lot of, a lot of it is uh, apparently we 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 curse too much, but it's only because we're we, we're having a good time and our emotions are tied to it, and it just helps adding the extra F word in there for description and that robustness. But a lot of the mature people probably won't like it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We were yeah, saying yeah, earlier. We're just being real though, because I mean, this is, this is for me, it's, it's shop talk. This is how, yeah. how it goes all the oh, time. Oh yeah. So, but for so, you know, hanging out with me on the daily, yeah. you're going to be hearing a lot of F bombs. I'm sure. So, so no kids, if there's any little ones in the background running around with a knife or scissors and you know, just yeah. push them away a little bit further. Be a responsible parent and tell them not to listen to the F-bombs, yeah. but run around with the scissors and knives. <laughs> we're we're so, adults. <laughs> I am currently on GetFPV's website, and it was pretty difficult to navigate to this point. Um, and, and this is like a problem that I find with not having bought anything in a long time when it, when it comes to multi-rotors. Uh, I mean, I... I get a lot of stuff through sponsors and I get a lot of stuff through just people sending me parts to quote unquote test and whatnot. And honestly, I kind of turned down a lot oh of that gosh, stuff now. Oh my you're so lucky, Steel. I, I mean, I'm I not... wish I can get free parts too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to I like... have like boxes of stuff behind me. Look at, <laughs> look at the wall behind me. I don't even fly any of those. I, I do need to do a giveaway or something because holy <laughs> shit, like it's getting out of control. Oh, that'd but, be cool. You see, everybody, we just talked him into a giveaway. We just <laughs> guilt tripped him so hard. I will you guys, say, you guys are welcome. You guys are welcome. I will say that upon the release of my frame, um, I plan on building five ready to fly Mr. Steel uh, identical quads, like me personally building them and tuning them. And they're going to be exactly like the frame that I have been flying and the frame that has my PDB, it has KISS 24s, KISS FC, it has Mr. Steel motors, has all that stuff. And I'll be, um, I don't know, selling those for very inexpensive. Yeah. Uh, but you got to subscribe to the show. <laughs> yeah. No. You, yeah. yeah. And you know yeah, what? Yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah, match yeah. you with, I'm going to match you with five of them as well. Yeah. And, uh, you can yeah. Give them away. We're, we're, no, no, no. I'm not going to give them away. That's for sure. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. See, unlike me, I'm going to have some money tied <laughs> into it. Well, so, I do have money tied into it. And I also have so five hours exactly a piece give away of build time. <laughs> Yeah, so I can't exactly give them away, but I could definitely um, put some perks in there for something. I don't know, but I think we should put them on the uh, the Team Failsafe website. We're just yeah. let's just load it up all at once, like two full frames, some clothing, some other good stuff, maybe some ND filters, like the the. Protective I'm gonna ND give away my input. 
Yes. You're going to give away input. It's just going to be a button. It's going to say that was easy. And then it's going to have a live version of Ruben chilling in his car or wherever he is at that moment. I jump it's out of the live box. Skype him. Yeah. It's a dick in a box. <laughs> so I was, let me finish this up with the Get FPV store real quick. I was just letting you know that when I went on there, it was difficult to find. Their main frames are. Wow, the QAV 150, or 250, which is back ordered because no one wants it. Um, and yeah, the QAV 250. I love when you see things that are back ordered like that, it's like people think like, oh, it must be popular because it's back ordered. No, <laughs> no, it's because it's discontinued and nobody wants to buy it anymore. Exactly. It's weird how like the, and, and this is what I was getting at. Like I don't, I haven't bought many things in a while. Like the, the most recent thing that I purchased for mini quads was a, was FR Sky receivers, and I bought those from Aloft Hobby, and that's just kind of like, you know, fairly easy website to navigate, where when you go to these larger stores, it's very difficult to be like, oh, I want a mini quadcopter. Yeah. Wait, do I want a drone? Do I do I want a carbon fiber mini quadcopter? So, but yeah, I mean, like, you go on here, you click Lumineer QAV frames. You know, what? what is in here? What There's an X-Hover MXP300. There's a Blackout Super Mini H 6-inch frame. Those are not QAV mini quadcopters. What the hell? They got a Shin Drones Tweaker 180. They got a Shin Drones Tweaker. I mean, they got a Sky Hero. They have all these things. They have Vortexes. You know, all this you stuff. Know, you know and it's listed under Lumineer QAV frames. Like, that's just that's just dumb. They're trying to hate, basically... Go ahead. I hate when I go on a, on a site and I try and look up, like, motors. I'm like, hey, I want to get some specs on a motor or something. Just see what it, what's up with it. And they always, like, why don't they put it under a motors tab? It's always under, like, electronics. Yeah, that that was my main concern. And I actually told Chad Capper from Rotor Riot that. I was like, dude, I'm trying to navigate your site right now, and I can't find motors. And he's like, oh, they're under electronics. I'm like, what? What about a motor is electronic other than the fact that it runs on electricity? Motor it's should not, be standalone. It's not a PCB. It's not, it doesn't have components on it. All it is is a bunch of winding around a freaking, yeah, it just, mm. it just doesn't. Amen. Yeah, that's, that. a pet, that's a pet peeve of mine. That will never be on our site, just so you know. If you're looking for motors, it'll be under motors. Yeah. That's what, I mean, Hobby King has it has it down where it's just like motors. Boom. Every fucking motor you, oh, sorry about the F word, but every, word, every motor, you know, it's super easy to find now. Like, you go there, boom, there they all there. I don't know. They're, they're, uh, their website's kind of kind of a little weird the, to navigate to. Yeah, the new one's a little weird, though. But, the, like, it, so. What, what's easy. another big website that we could go look at? And I just want to kind of Re- ready made RC is a big ready made. Yeah. yeah. All right. So like, and this is cool because I, I haven't done <laughs> I like, this. I like and how I, we're putting them all on the spot though. Like if they're listening right now, they're like, Oh no, he's going to our site. No, I want to like, I, and this is cool because the fact is, is when I go to purchase stuff or when I tell people to purchase stuff, it's like, Hey, go to this website, and then they're like, "Oh, I got lost for three hours because I couldn't find what you what I what you told me to buy." Yeah, and this is this is a huge thing because, like I said, I haven't bought anything for like a year or so as far as like going out and actually buying a full like ready to fly setup. Yeah. So when people ask me questions and they ask me where to go, what's the best site to get it at? I mean, from my experience, and this is like a year and a half ago, two years ago, when I was like going out and buying ready to fly quads, like as in piecing them together myself and, and not to be deceptive in any way, shape or form. I have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on this hobby. And I have receipts for days from get FPV, ready made RC, freaking yeah. all these huge plank. I will not buy from Hobby King, but you know, I have purchased things from them before. And that was the reason why I don't buy stuff from them anymore. But <laughs> like, you know, all of this stuff could, could have changed recently. Like, I, I don't know. We're going to find out, I guess. I have a question. Yeah. So since like, uh, like say we're like part 107 pilots and technically flying these things could be our job right yeah. so if we buy all these things and say you crash and you break an arm and like ESCs go out or motors can go you out, file can we, it under insurance yeah can we call it no but can, not only that can we write this off as like a loss in taxes <laughs> dang I don't know man I I know when I do my taxes I I have certain things that I do, but I don't. I don't write them off as a loss. I don't think. <laughs> well, I was just thinking. I just thought of that right now. I was like, technically, could you write it off as a loss? You're like, oh my god, I had a, I had a fail safe. 
and it's in the ocean. Uh, well, that I'll write that off as a loss. Well, it, I technically, have my, it's I your, have my DVR footage to prove it. <laughs> it's your tool, right? I mean, if you're if you're a part 107 holder and you're doing it, you're trying to make that's money. That's what I'm saying. It's technically that's like uh, that's our tools, right? Yeah, I th- I yeah. don't know, maybe. I mean, it's like equipment that we need for the job, basically. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let's 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 decide. Let's run through some of these guys real quick. So, get ready, made RC. I'm on their site right now. I know you guys can't see it. You might want to hop on there yourself and check it out. I wish I could screen capture with you guys and so that you could see what was going on. But you, you, you could totally show us your screen. Oh, fuck, I can't do that. If, God, if you what? go no, just go into Skype and yeah. there's a little plus plus sign under your your face. Hit share screen. Oh, mama! Look at that! Look at that! Dang. Look at that! Oh my God! Let's start that. Oh yeah, can you guys see what the heck I'm looking at now? Red tube. Yeah, oh I shit! Can, I can turn totally it off. See it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go to the midget look at one. The, look at that, Ruben. Enter, <laughs> enter the fixed wing. Well, you got it. Are you up on there? No, I'm not on there no more. They they didn't. They stopped uh, holding my my uh, sweep wing stuff. Damn hater report. <gasps> so I have, so no. back in the day for me, ready made no, RC not. and get FPV were the biggest retailers as far as multi rotor stuff went that were in the United States, and I personally always purchased from ready made rc because they had the quickest shipping time dude i still um, think they do have the fastest shipping I regardless of the fact that get fpv is in florida which is one state away i would order stuff and then like three <laughs> days later it would ship and then three days later it would show up where like ready made i didn't even have to know anybody there and it was just like bam and it just shipped immediately so um but you let's compare it there's like a the, knock at your door <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't. You have no idea. So, Delivery. what happened to Get FPV? They had a sixty dollar. It used to say if you spent over sixty dollars, you got free shipping up at the top. Dang, look at they got that spark on. Oh, there. look, most orders over fifty dollars get free shipping. Huh? So most. if you purchase yeah, like most, if you purchase though, like, a Sharpoo you know? like printout, then you don't get free shipping. I guess. Where's Where's Carlos at? We still Dude, we need a hunt. I don't know. Him. We need him. We need him <laughs> somewhere. I need to get him in this uh, in this world. <laughs> He's, working he's on just movie. missing out. He's got all them boss baby situations happening. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's see. Let's compare the two sites. So we got Get FPV. We got Lumine- Ready Made RC going on, which I think a lot of people don't even realize that Get FPV and Lumineer are the same exact thing. Um, and you, you can't really tell that. Yeah, like we, Lumineer we, we spoke is, about that, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. I think so. We might have. Was it on a podcast or was it on an actual like? Was it on a private conversation situation? No, yeah, I think we were talking about that on a po- podcast where it, we were saying like, oh, like if you're old enough in the hobbies, you would know it was like FPV manuals, and then it oh, went to like, yeah, 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 yeah. And get FPV and all that. So. Well, though those two companies are are what the biggest ones in the game right now. Well, I would actually in the U.S. I would actually uh, argue the fact that the Rotor Riot store is just as big, but I don't think we. As I, in, I wouldn't even like, I wouldn't even consider Rotor Riot like because the ready made has been around longest. Uh, get yeah, no. As far as retail the stores, they are like definitely the biggest ones yeah. in the states. So yeah, um, and then yeah, in the Midwest because Midwest would be uh, ready made, and then on the East Coast would be Get FPV, and the West Coast we only have and there's a couple of them. It's like F, uh, FPV HQ. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but I think the the, the person that's probably slanging the most stuff on the West Coast is probably Surge at Pyroflip. Pyroflip, yeah, yeah, there's another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about you're talking about West West. Like, yeah, they're actually uh, yeah. ready made RC. I want to say is in Ohio. Yeah, yeah, they're Ohio. That's pretty much it. Like we have mid, and then the East and West Coast. That's is that it? But and then Amazon. <laughs> yeah, but I was gonna say to be fair, I think Get FPV is slinging the most stuff, um, yeah. regardless if we want to acknowledge yeah, no, the fact you're, that you're they are. Right. Yeah, but I think they have a so, better um, uh, media outlet in the way the way they do it. I think that's that's probably dude, a key factor. It's, it's too. crazy. They like track you like you're a freaking like the what is it? The NSA is coming yeah. to get you. Like I can go online and type in mini quad or something like that and everything for like three days after that will be get fpv.com get fpv.com it's gonna that, make you buy this that's and like even on my videos the google you know if, if any of those guys are watching like tim from get fpv or anything could you guys just uh 
please send us your financial numbers so we could have an episode <laughs> and see uh, how you guys are doing. Dude, I think it's funny that GetFPV only has 107,000 likes on Facebook and Airviews has a, 11, a million point one likes on Facebook. Yeah, but, but their Airviews is all like from China and shit like that. It's all hyped. Oh man, I wasn't gonna say it, but you know, well, that's I, I don't, I don't, accurate. I don't roll with like I don't yeah. roll with Airviews. <laughs> I mean, I don't upload anything because how Airviews works is you like if I would, let's say I open up account, I upload to Airviews, I don't get shit, right? Yeah. They they get all the traffic, they got all the advertisement, and they get all the uh, that's their money, right? You don't get shit. So yeah. if you have a YouTube account. I mean, I'm just being real. Like I'm not gonna dance around and dick around it. If you have a YouTube, quit account, dancing, Ruben. If you have a YouTube account. That's yours. That is your shit right there. So Damn why would you boy. give your shit to somebody else? Yeah. Just saying. Just, Just saying. saying. Dude, the one, th- well, you know, Airviews, to be real, like, they have been, I don't even know if, like, I should say this stuff. Um, you better keep it as real it. as possible, goddammit. I should do what? You better keep it as real as possible. All right. So they pay pilots to post content and i think that's not really that it's not really that big of a secret like people that are posting yeah, on that's air been views, out there like people know that yeah the people that are posting the air views are being paid monthly not a very large sum of money either um, but they are being paid to promote air views and post videos on air views and also they have a set number of comments and whatnot that they're supposed to post yeah um which you know like in reality on any other social media platform there isn't typically like push to do that stuff especially from the social media platform itself and i know what airbus is trying to do is a different scenario they're trying to say hey look we want to take over all the drone stuff in the world but at the end of the day like to me personally it's not a good business model just because the fact that if i'm on youtube and i'm watching drone stuff and then five minutes later i don't want to watch any more drone stuff and i can get caught up into a, a puppy being like slid down a a bumpy stair set and like dying a couple times and rolling and then getting back up and doing it again because it's fun and I want to laugh at that. I can watch that. If I want to go through my own dreams and try to decipher something about why I was being chased by zebras last night, (laughs) um, then I can go on YouTube and type type in chased by zebras and I'm sure there's a video of someone being chased by zebras and then they decipher it because there's some gypsy lady going, oh yes, you've been chased by zebras once before. Yeah, because the other one is like a strictly drones only and you can't, you can't, you know, do anything with that. Now, you know, as a, as a as a viewer and as you know someone who just watches that shit um you know it'd be beneficial for that individual to kind of hype themselves up that way yeah. they can promote themselves on a continuous basis instead of promoting somebody else who's not paying you nothing it's and, it's really yeah. difficult though it's and really that, difficult. that's what i like too is like so if you look at a I'm, like youtube youtube at least like you're getting paid if you are getting paid off your views and things, it's actually people that want to come to watch you and everything. It's not like, you know, that's the thing with air views. You just put your, your videos up and somebody's paying you. It just, I don't know. It just doesn't feel the right way of doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) No. And YouTube is definitely something that people are going to say, Oh, how do you get like, how do you get more subscribers? And it's kind of a crazy thing. These days, kids are actually going to school, assuming that YouTube is a viable career source. When you talk to people in like elementary school and whatnot, they're like, I want to be a YouTuber when I grow up. And that just wasn't a thing five years ago when I was going through college. And you know, you're like, Oh, what are you going to do when you get out? Oh, well, you know, I'm uh, going to school for engineering and, uh, well, I'm going to get out. I'm going to probably get some job that I really, really like, and I'm going to make a lot of money. And these are just not realities. That's that's not a thing. Uh, And I've had so many people, uh, and I don't want to, like, I don't want to, like, bash anything. Please don't kill my father. (laughs) What? I was going to hit the no guarantees. (laughs) Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I don't want to go into any details of, like, but uh, just basically when I was growing up, I was told, you go to college, you get a really nice degree, you get out and you get a great job and you make a lot of money and you're good, right? You feed you know, the beast. These are the things that I was told growing up and I don't want to like 
I don't want to make any kind of judgments towards people that have been telling me that, but it's just not that simple anymore. And I, they also don't really tell you that when you go to college and you get out and you get a job, you have to work your ass through the mud to get to the point where you do start actually enjoying your job. So you're going to be working 10 years in Ooh. some shit job before you actually start reaping any, of the ben- reaping any of the benefits. And don't forget that student loan that you can never pay off or escape ever yeah so ever or that uh going to college for a career that you're not even gonna like when you're done with college and then you end up in a totally different career path not saying not down in school or nothing you know do your one school's just not for everybody do your one i went to school (laughs) get your diploma (laughs) yeah i mean get your just yeah No, no. The main I thing mean, is just I'm to find something. You just got to hustle. Yeah, That's hustle. It. Whether it's school, whether it's like working any other job, you just got to hustle your way up through the ranks to get where you want to be, yeah. no matter what it is. I mean, if you want to break it down, I mean, like I didn't go to college. I attended some classes, but I did. I, I joined a trade. I was uh, I did a uh, an apprentice plumber, D- an indu- industrial plumber. Pokemon cards. And uh, shoot, I make more than, you know, uh, not, not to brag, but I make a lot of more than the guys who who got a degree and now uh they can't use their degree in in some of the fields and it, you know some people out there might um can understand this but you know when you when you do a trade you know it's it 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 makes me more verse around the house you know if my buddy needs help i know how to you know fix it i can use it here in the shop to manipulate some of the products um yeah you know, like well, because it's a it's you uh, acquired a skill is yeah. what it is like you required a skill set that not everybody has that same skill yeah. set. And um, I feel like it's a thing like like for school, I feel it's very good to school go to school if you want to be like, say, a doctor, a lawyer, things yeah. like that, where you have to have a degree. You have to like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Do those type of studies. I know this has nothing to do with FPV and everybody's <laughs> probably like, oh, great. They're talking about school and stuff now. <laughs> but uh, this is real talk, guys. Yeah. Yeah. For real. <laughs> well, I mean, some guys are really good with numbers, right? So they wouldn't go to, to school for math. I mean, or or calculus or, or none of that stuff. They they like it processes in your in their brains a lot better. So maybe they might factor in on a business uh, aspect of it because they can. Okay, you know, if I buy X amount of units, I can flip it and and produce this this kind of numbers exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but you know, you know what? A lot of guys, on, plus some guys things, aren't built. How how Steele is saying like. Uh, you know, kids want to be a YouTuber and things like that too. You have to even look at the whole thing. Like who knows where YouTube is going to be in a year or two years. And if it could even be a viable, like say job path because of like the monetization and things like that with them losing their own ads and revenue coming in and stuff. Um, I know Ruben, you put me on to, uh, Vidme recently uploading stuff to there. And I think that's a very good platform yeah, nobody even um, knows about I, it. What is VidMe? Exactly. And I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, see, exactly, Steel. You should get on that. And um, the thing is, what I'm liking about VidMe right now is, like, you know, I'll post to YouTube, then I'll post, like, to VidMe. You just copy and paste and, the link. Yeah, exactly. Um, or you could upload directly to it. But what I'm liking is that it's it's based on your subscribers, the people that want to watch you. It's actually the people that want to come to see your channel. And if they want to pay you, they could pay you yeah. like any amount. And that's what I kind of like about it is people are basically subscribing to your channel to watch your stuff and enjoy the content that you're mm. creating and doing. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be any monetization or anything or a percentage of how many views you get. It's what people want to pay to watch your your stuff. So yep. that's what I like about Vidme. And, and I know I, I kind of slacked it on like a few of my last videos, but I feel like I want to concentrate and put better content slowly onto vidme so it's worth watching on vidme fucking than, prove uh, it <laughs> than youtube <laughs> i love that soundboard one <laughs> i need to get that from you just that little piece of like all i right. don't have to say it anymore all the time when i'm walking around with like my eventually this is like, just, just gonna be it. a podcast of soundboards like no one's actually gonna have to say anything it's just gonna be a bunch of clips <laughs> like those crank yeah, calls exactly. where it's like arnold and it's nothing but soundboards no, yep, but it's actually we're programmed robots, and we only have so much vocabulary. Anyways, yeah, right. Yeah, F- fuck is our favorite one. Um, but you know, <laughs> I think that was the first one in this whole podcast. Some ca- some guys gonna be like, oh, "We're gonna make it through." Gonna- no, oh, we blew it. <laughs> we're gonna make it through. No, I mean a lot of this stuff because, like, I've talked about it before on on my other uh, my podcast. But 
it it somebody out there who's who's wants to know and wants to know how uh, uh, the aspects of you know what actually goes on, and believe it or not, it takes a lot of goddamn videos to kind of even get up there because I think when you first make an account, like you're limited to like I think 15 minutes or something like that on for your videos, and then you have to like break. I don't know, like uh, 50 videos or, or X amount of videos before you can make longer contented videos and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but you have to constantly keep doing it. You have to engage the audience. So, you know, your it puts your videos up higher and in higher rankings. If you're a nobody and you upload a video and like three people see your video, it's because people are waiting to discover you. I mean, yeah. You, you it, that's hard work. Like you got to bust your ass. It ain't gonna happen for free. I mean, you you got to put some work in. I mean, like you guys are climbing in in subscribers, and I'm you know I'm I don't upload as much as you guys do, um, but it takes a lot of long ass time to 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 get where you want to be. Yeah, shit ain't I think easy. That's everybody's like, yeah, everybody's misconceptions. Like, especially now with the, the Facebook groups and everything. Everybody just blasting all their videos up, yeah. no matter what the quality is or the content or anything. And they just think, like, as long as I put videos up there, like, you better watch them. And if you don't watch my videos, then I'm going to be pissed and I'm going to be like, hey, like, why aren't you guys watching my videos and why am I not getting subscribers? Or, yeah. like, subscribe to me because I, I subscribe to you <laughs> or just things like that. And I'm just like, dude, like, you got to put – it's not that easy. You have to yeah. put in the work. You have to put in the time. Like – I did videos, I, I've said this a million times, I did videos for like a hundred and like, I don't even remember, 130 videos straight. These were naked videos, right? Every day, editing, putting them up, <laughs> and I never once was like, hey, please subscribe to me because uh, I subscribe to you or something. No, you just put in the work, you do it because you like it, you want to yeah. challenge yourself and do things for yourself. So if you're not doing it for yourself and you just want to be popular and have the subscribers and just think it comes to you, yeah. then uh, go kick rocks, buddy. Those were uh, those were those webcast uh, male web webcast videos where <laughs> they gotta pay. That, that's what Eric was doing back in the day. <laughs> exactly, dude. That was that was me. <laughs> How'd you know? Oh, you you must have subscribed to me. <laughs> Shit, Thanks for being one of my my first loyal subscribers, Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> number one, but, uh, number yeah. One. I think the I only person one. that's gotten Damn lucky, it, it w- <laughs> yeah. I think the only person that's gotten lucky um, with how many subscribers they have and everything is Steel because he really doesn't do anything, and people just subscribe to him. The guy like wakes up at like this one p.m. every day. He goes this and flies for about I'd say thirty minutes, uploads that video to YouTube, and then goes back to sleep around like three thirty. <laughs> And, um, yeah, he just gets millions of subscribers. What do you think? You think that's pretty accurate? Yeah, I, I, I would agree with all of that. And I have like people just knocking on my door, trying to give me free stuff all the time. And, you know, it's just like, it's so easy. I, I don't yeah, know. And you don't work at all, I right? Just no, I, I basically, I'll go to bed at like three in the morning after watching David Attenborough, uh, talk about <laughs> zebras and animals. And then, I wake up the next day sometime around 2 p.m. and uh, I just go to a coffee shop and sip on uh, sip on some coffee and stare some at lattes. people. <laughs> well, now that, that, yeah, that in reality, the funny thing is, I could call this guy at like probably 11 in the morning, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Editing." And then I'll call him around like five in the morning. I'm like, I mean, five in the afternoon. I'm like, Hey, what are you doing? He's like editing. <laughs> and then he's I like, do edit go. a lot. And then he's like, I'm going to go fly in like 30 minutes. And then he flies like at sunset and does his, whatever, gets all his footage. And then I'll hit him up at like my time, which is I'm on the West coast. So I'll hit him up at like nine thirty or something or whatever. I, the only reason I hit him up late is because I know he's still up at like two o'clock in the morning, his time editing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but you have a following. Edit. You have a following now. You've already established it, you know, at like, I don't know, what, 30, 40,000 subscribers. And so now that's, you have that, all that weight to carry on and, and people are slowly picking it up. And uh, it, it, that's what people like. People like to see the face. They like to see a nice edit, um, good transitions. You know, I, I have an idea. Hey, Steele, um, mm. how about you transfer all try and transfer all your stuff over to vidme 
and see how many of your subscribers really do want to pay for your content. Let's let's uh it's let's it's strange them. because like I have a lot of people that will support me on uh Patreon, which is a thing that I have on my account. Like it's just not even I don't even acknowledge that it's there. It's just in the description, which the description is like so huge and large, like I get people all the time, What's your ending song on your videos? Have you checked the description? Because it's in there every single time. Yeah. It's um, easy for people just to ask, though. They're like... Yeah, but I feel yeah, like lazy. at some point in time, a little a little bit of prodding, poking through stuff might help. Especially if you're asking... Like, I get people that ask multiple times within a week on different videos. What's the ending song? It's the same song. Uh, there have been other comments that have asked about the song and it's also in the description and also usually most of the time I post other songs in the description, the ones that I use. And the only times that I don't are either when I'm on the road and I'm lazy and I can't find the songs to link to the people or, you know, or it's a song that I'm getting demonetized for because it was deceptively put on a no copyright free music site and it did have a copyright and now i'm pissed so i don't put the song name in the description because i'm upset <laughs> so many. yeah I, I stopped doing that same reason now i just like at my ending titles at the end of the the videos i just put like music and i put the name i don't put the link in the description in the or well, in the description anymore because yeah i would totally have a, a non-monetized song and then all of a sudden i get an email and says hey now you know you're using copyright content i was like no there's no way like i yeah. checked and uh yeah so i just stopped doing that so i'm always like yeah if you want to know the song just look at the end of the video how about you watch to the end of my videos how about Damn. that buddy fucking <laughs> locking people down and trapping those locking people until the end well, does, it only tracks what the first uh 20 seconds or something like that it counts of what? Yeah, i think so there, there's a certain um, a, a time like yeah time range i forgot what it is though and even if they thumbs down it or thumbs up it doesn't matter it counts as a Um, as a positive feedback yeah i don't care give me all the dislikes (laughs) and interaction (laughs) i and it's funny you guys talk about dislikes because there are literally people that will subscribe to channels to intentionally dislike the content those are called (laughs) cocksuckers i think i got don't be a cocksucker guys don't be a cocksucker i have a few because i have like a good average of the same amount of dislikes in every video and it's like it, i know it's like probably the same few it's people it's that one and, fucking and troll people dude even left comments they're like dude you have probably the same haters like all the time i'm like i know but you know what it's cool because uh they still have to watch my, they they still watch my video like why are you even watching my videos and everything i don't know yeah i i yeah. do i do one weird. video people are weird i do one video like i don't i don't get as many views as you guys but i'll get one and it's like you know it has all these likes and then one dislike and i'm like what the fuck did i do like nobody what the fuck <laughs> what did i do wrong to deserve yeah, this like, that's like oh fuck. like it's that one guy i had one guy uh troll me he was like oh that's a horrible build you should be the, uh you know you should be ashamed of what you did and i'm like who the fuck is this guy like what what have you, you done way too much ashamed of what you did <laughs> i'm like who the fuck and then you click on his page is some some redneck uh hillbilly with like three videos and i'm like what the where did this fucking troll three come videos, from ones of him like crushing cans on his head the other <laughs> ones his like friend like mowing a lawn or something yeah so oh, i thought that man. was funny Some random stuff th- they're out so, there but you guys you guys can't get discouraged if, if you guys are uploading stuff you can't get discouraged man you just gotta keep doing it i know um yeah the new- that's what i always tell everybody too it's like you can't get discouraged don't trace don't chase the like the subscribers and everything the way i look at it is like if you're doing good content and stuff like that you're gonna get the views and look at the ratio more of how many views you get to your subscribers don't try and just look at the ratio of how many subscribers you have because there's guys out there that like i don't know i mean there's fpv like i i kind of troll around a lot and look at a bunch of different channels i'm very like big on checking out channels and seeing their (laughs) content and i'll subscribe ninja if I like it, but there's guys out there that might have like 25,000 subscribers. But if you look at their views, they're only getting a hundred views, 200 views, like average on their videos. But that's because they have one video that might've gotten like a million views or something because it went viral. Everybody subscribed to them. And then now all of a sudden it's like people are watching them and going, okay, I'm not interested in watching this guy anymore because everything else is kind of shitty compared to that one viral video. Yeah. Yeah. So look at your, look at your average, what you're getting. So if you have 
say, 100 subscribers or even 30 subscribers and you're getting 30 views, dude, you have 30 subscribers and you're getting 30 views. It's pretty that's good. solid. That's a yeah, good ratio. That's, yeah, that's amazing ratio. So don't get discouraged on like, I only have 30 you know, subs or something like that. Uh, the people that are sub to you are liking your content. Yeah. And yeah, that's the best way to look at it. Got to hustle, no guys. One, no, one wants, no one wants PewDiePie ratio where you got 55 million subscribers and oh, you only fuck. get a million views a day. Come that, on. That dude's got so many yeah, goddamn exactly. trolls. <laughs> oh, my God. No, but for real, yeah, though, like, city. The, the, the view count ratio to subscriber ratio is a huge thing. It's a huge metric that I go off of. Uh, a lot of people that I'm actually subscribed to, um, like they'll have 150, 250, some of them even have 500,000 subscribers and they only get on average between 30 and 40,000 views per video, which 30, 40,000 views is not something to just like shrug off. It's like, no, that's nothing. But in a ratio, when you're talking about a ratio, you're talking about you have 500,000 subscribers and you have 50,000 views on average. That's that's not a very good ratio, yeah. according like compared to somebody that has say eighty thousand subscribers and gets sixty thousand um, consistent. Which I can tell you right now, getting there's like a huge difference between getting ten thousand subscribers and having a ten thousand view ratio to having a hundred thousand subscribers and having a hundred thousand view ratio. That's there's just not that. That is just not that out there. You usually will see if you have anything over 150 to 200,000 uh, view ratio, you have a crazy amount of subscribers. So, 50,000 view ratio as like if you any sub, any amount of subscribers is good because, like I said, you'll see guys with almost 500,000 subscribers that are only getting 50,000 views. And what that really comes down to is you might have all these subscribers and it's a huge number to say, Hey, look, like I have this many people that follow me on these social media platforms. But at the end of the day, you only really have that niche market that's super concerned with what you're doing. And like I've been telling people for the last year and a half, two years that the mini quad market worldwide is probably less than 50,000 people. So if you have the entire mini quad market watching your content or you have the entire say crocheting, uh, market like if you are a crocheting or a knitting out of everything you could think of you pick the crocheting market because <laughs> i met some girl at the coffee shop the other day that was crocheting she's like yeah i do some stuff like really really uh you know like special stuff and it, dude you and hear that beep? needles <laughs> and someone there's a there's a lady that's backing a backhoe right now that cannot drive <laughs> Backho- and it's serious. backhoes are no joke man those things are crazy they got a mind of their, their own yeah, we should have like uh, we should have like an ambulance sound, and we should have like car crashing sounds. So if people are watching this podcast or listening to this podcast in their car, it's just like, oh, what the fuck, and they're like freaking out, driving around, trying it's to like police sirens. Yeah, yeah, we do it in like weird, like m- manipulate the audio so that it only comes out of the rear right speaker of the car. <laughs> they're like, oh, oh, what the hell was that? It's like a bat, like a fluff, like a flutter noise, <laughs> like there's a bat in the car or something. Yeah. So, so bottom but, line, bottom line, you guys got to hustle. Get your shit together, find your niche, and just keep creating content. You're going to get better. You know, shit yeah. ain't given to yeah. you, man. You got to hustle. You, you, you know what, though? One misconception, too, um, in this whole mini quad, like, industry, and I know this is where it all comes from. Is that the hype is, is real? Everybody thinks, well, this is why everybody wants, like, a lot of followers on Instagram and a lot of subscribers on YouTube in the mini quad realm, they like to use that as leverage to think they could get sponsors and have sponsors give them things because they go, look how nope. many followers I have on Instagram. Like, uh, give me a bunch of free stuff. Look at how many Fucking subs I have it. on you. They, all it is is like a leverage for them to ask these mm. companies these things to get free stuff when really it's like, if I'm a company, I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, yeah, you have like you know a thousand subs on youtube but you get 20 views uh yeah <laughs> that's not really gonna like promote my somebody my paid business, to play <laughs> that that's why everybody's concerned about it in this in the fpv realm well, i think they just want it as leverage everyone's concerned about it in in every realm like that's what kids are brought up on like even though i'm a millennial like i'm a lot young, younger than you guys i'm 27 you goddamn guys are what kids. Mid, mid-30s goddamn kids man 34 how old are you ruben 36 so i'm 10 years younger than you guys on a rough rough basis i mean 
five, six, seven, you know, whatever. We're going to round it up to 10. Um, and just from experience with people in my generation, everyone wants to be super popular on social media so that they can have more friends or have more like weight as far as whatever industry they're trying to do. They can say, you look, I have this many followers. I can get a sponsorship and do something that I love to do. It's it's a little harder than that if you're trying yeah. to do it in a legitimate yeah, way. It doesn't really work that way. It's like if if you're a female, if you're a female on like on Instagram, that all you post is like provocative pictures. It. You'll yeah, you will be crushing it, guaranteed. People are going to be giving you shit left and right. Dude, if yeah. you are a female flying FPV and you're posting your videos and you're crushing it, there needs to be more females flying because yep. if you want to do anything, you'll be crushing it. All the guys will be like, ooh, ooh, look at this. It's so are you trying to tell me right now if, if someone lays their Johnson on their mini quad and takes a picture of it, no. they're going to get a lot of likes? Maybe. Crushing it. <laughs> Probably in, in our, not in our demographic. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what if what if the mini quad market was You're just, just see. super like hella homosexual, <laughs> and everyone was super psyched on dick pics with mini quads, and it was like a huge pandemic of dude, I Crushing can't get it. there's there's not a mini quad picture without a dick in it. You'll get the uh, the the gay Illuminati uh, gay hit squad on you. That's for damn sure. Dang, that Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do think, that, and I actually. Uh, have conversations with a lot Illuminati? of the female okay. uh, pilots. <laughs> so I have a lot of, like, people will message me randomly all throughout. I mean, and I'm friends with a lot of the pilots uh, just in general, not necessarily strictly female ones, but the I talk to a couple. Is like, oh, my God, Stu, I love you. <laughs> 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 Negatory. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, just for dick example. Pics, dick pics. <laughs> no. For example, like I was talking to um, Lexi. Uh, she's a pilot from, I think she lives in Poland. She's Irish, you know, Lexi. I'm trying to think of her FPV name, Mon, Mon something. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Minion High or something like that. Monion High, right? Yeah. Is that the same one? Yeah. So anyway, she was talking to me yesterday about like someone had hit her up and said, Hey, we want to, we want to work with you for this. And it was some drone racing association. And, and it's funny because I really want to bring this up now because it was so Lexi Jansen is her name. Mm. Um, and she goes what up? by do what? I said, what up? Big shout out. Yeah. Uh, what is, I, I don't have it. I don't have the air horn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Moan High, My yeah. Myon, Myon High, FBB. Yeah. So we were talking about yesterday, and she's like, "Hey, this this random company hit me up, um, and they want to work with me, and it's the Drone Racing World Series, um, Formula FPV." And she's like, yeah, they said you worked with them and all this stuff. And it's funny because I've actually had stuff like that happen before where people will tell other people that X number of pilots and certain people have worked with them in the past to gain like credibility ah. so that they can manipulate yeah, I other drop people. Your name to... all the time, bro. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of <laughs> Dropping it in hard, you know. I'm like, hey, so you know, you know that dude Steele. Yeah. Uh, I I, all him. I know is there's a dude named Dan, and he spells his name with two A's. Never seen that before. Dan. Uh, but I, I don't know if he can be trusted. Dan. Well, uh, maybe maybe he can. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So if there's any female pilots out there, just talk to Steele first. No, don't talk to me first, <laughs> but just be be you aware like all the, everybody should be aware, not only yeah. female pilots but male pilots too. Uh just if someone's saying that they do something with particular pilots and that they have credibility and they're basing it off of saying who they've worked with, they're probably lying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially in the mini quad industry just because you know, like the only people that I'm are really It's all about leverage. Yeah. It is all about leverage, and that's kind of what we're getting at with social media in general. Like, if you have a lot of followers, if you have a lot of posts, you know, you might be if you're getting... A girl. <laughs> if you're a girl, yeah. It's a little... I will say it's easier, but they don't get the respect. Like, it's... 
it's a it's a hard world like everyone wants to hate on females for yeah. being able to like post a scantily dressed picture on instagram and get ten thousand <laughs> likes like at the end of the day you do have the likes but at the same time like if they were to try to use that in a way to sell a product or something or to promote a product they wouldn't have the rep- reputability of to do that you like, get a, say you get a, girl, a different a, a different variety of people that want to advertise with you yeah it's a different There's demographic a bunch of haters out there so uh, just for example, say there's a girl, she has a, a, a channel or something that is based off of her posting scantily dressed pictures. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she wants to get into makeup or something and she wants to start selling makeup. Yeah, that might work. She, it might work. But at the same time, do you think that a lot of your pictures are male driven? Like, do you think that a lot yes. of the pictures are, are, are clicked by males, which yes. don't buy makeup? So the demographic for selling makeup is wrong, where if you have a makeup channel and you're basically selling your face, as in you have pictures of your face in before and after circumstances where you can say, hey, like, this is what I look like without makeup. This is what I look like with this makeup. This is what I do. This is the makeup I use. So you, you got to start out a different way. And I think that in general is harder to do if you're not basing it off of a sexual, like a sexual driven Sex thing. Sex sell steel. Hey, what is that Ryan. dog? That thing is serious. <laughs> Get it out of here. The dog's like, hey, remember we woke up early? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. It's like 5 a.m. I can't even handle it. <laughs> Well, sex sex sells, man. I mean, it's uh, if you're selling, let's say if you're a female, uh, and, and I'm just to bring this stuff into perspective, not hating or nothing, but I'm just bringing shit that we've noticed in in you know our feeds and and not not my, my feeds, but uh, my my more like uh, cosplayers and stuff like that because I like I like video games. Um, but you get those <laughs> <laughs> you get those scantily really, dressed really ones. Real right there. <laughs> I, I like video games, but if you um uh. You know, like the females that are doing like scantily dressed stuff and, you know, their market is going to be, well, their likes are going to be a lot of the guys because for guys, you know, that's their spank bank, right? They're like, ooh, Nick, check this out. Oh, I'm going to save this one <laughs> for later. Put a fucking bookmark on it. I'm going to save this for later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you Let tonight. Let me that one real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think that might be a little bit of uh, a, a mixed up. And, you know, for your demographic, it's going to change because how the search engines are, what you're liking on your feed, it they're going to feed you whatever you've been, you know, liking, right? That's how it works. Yeah, exactly. So if you like a lot of RC stuff on your feed, you're going to see a lot of RC stuff. If you click on, like, cosplayers. You're going to get FPV with all their ads in your feed. Yeah, you might see that. And and it, yeah. it, it's that's just what you're going to do. But I think for the female pilots that are coming up through the ranks. Um, my biggest thing is I hope the companies don't take advantage of them. And I want to see, I would like to see more headstrong females that are out there who are not selling their, their bodies, you know, for pictures and stuff like that. Like, like I want to see if you can build, I want to see if you can fly like a motherfucker and, and smoke them dudes out there. Just, you know, just run them, run them on the course. Like I want to see that stuff and your knowledge. So to me, that's, you know what the, yeah, you know what the good thing is though? The ones that I've like noticed so far and everything, uh, they are. I mean, there's a lot of good female pilots out there and they're the ones that I've seen that are doing the stuff, like they're doing it everything right. So Yeah, yeah. Like I like, like a lot of guys that are coming through the rank, um like, no, like Zoe. Zoe's freaking um, an amazing pilot. She and is a phenomenal pilot. It's like dude, like she's freaking good, like flying three D is a freaking mind-boggling chore to begin with. Like, it is. Holy crap. Yeah, no, there's some other ones, too. I think, uh, like, recently I, I've been seeing a lot of, what is it, o- Oni Girl? Oni Girl, yeah, mm-hmm. Noelle. Yeah, like, she yeah. is killing it. She's actually, yeah, she's like, putting out good. great content on YouTube as well, which yeah. is yeah. rare, rare to find, especially from a solely female, like, it's, I mean, I've seen a lot of things in the past where, like, a girl... Will have her boyfriend do stuff for her as far, yeah. and that's the problem with the industry right now. Just in general, as far as females getting into it, most of them have a male background that they're kind of Helping using as out. a platform to help 
Which is fine, but at the same time, like, the male usually assumes that if he uses his girlfriend to get to a certain point and she gets good at flying, then he's going to get sponsors too. And it's like, <laughs> she gets all the, she gets all the, um, the sponsorship attention and he's like, wait, what wait, the f- do you know this as a fact? Or are you just saying this? <laughs> tell us, tell us something. I, I <laughs> don't something know this for a fact, but I do know this from like previous exper- experience with a couple of the girls that I've met through FPV that are. And Craigslist. Um, they're not Craigslist, no. <laughs> but it's just like it's it's a different market because yeah. you have a female getting into something that is very male driven, yeah. um, and typically females just don't get into stuff like that. Like if you ever meet a gar- a girl a girl that's like obsessed with cars, for oh, example, yeah, yeah. yeah. T- very very rarely did they spawn that interest in cars on their own. Mm-hmm. It was either a boyfriend or a dad yeah. or something where they were already interested in vehicles and they respected that person and they got into it based yeah. out of like a common common knowledge between the two, either father or boyfriend or whatever. And then they end up finding like that they like this stuff and they stick to it. So that's kind of the same way with FPV. There are very few women that are getting into it solely off of like finding it online, being like hey this is cool yeah. it's usually like oh my boyfriend does it and like he thought it would be cool if i did it too and then they kind of actually find out that they like it yeah and then it morphs it from there and becomes like the girl that's been doing it half the time that this dude's doing doing it's getting twice as much yeah. um traction and it, it it's kind of like a it's it's a weird thing but at the end of the day a lot of these people are taking it upon themselves to do it in a way that's more legitimate like say hey like i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna get this um, video made and I'm going to edit myself and I'm going to do all this stuff. So like there have been instances in the past and I won't throw any names out there, but where a girl would go fly and then the boyfriend would do all the editing and yeah. post the video. Um, well, and and it was just, well, I mean, what if they don't know how to like edit? Like, so you're like, what I, if they don't I didn't know how, know how, that's how to edit being a, that's called being a, a team steal. <laughs> You know, like when you're in a relationship, there's it's just not all I I I. There's you know there's no I. I think maybe well in, if they don't know how to do it, there. and and let's say let's say the the uh, the boyfriend knows how to do it, and maybe he, they can you know they're learning. It's a learning process. Yeah, they yeah. should and, teach and him. Then they pick it up. They but at least teaching. but at least use that in the like kind of mention oh, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. As as you're a team, don't go yeah. out of in, your way to make it seem like say uh edited by my boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the like the problem is is there will be a lone entity female that has so much backing through the guy um but she does it's not like credited in there. It's like, "Oh, you need to do your own thing and you need to say that you're doing it on your own because you'll get a lot more traction that way it'll be a lot more credible because yeah. you're doing it by yourself." But I mean, I think at the end of the day, it just comes down to if you're doing it as a team, you're doing it as someone, if someone's teaching you, that's kind of a cool process. Like, yeah. how do you teach someone how to do this stuff instead of like hiding the teaching aspect, which yeah. I think is a huge part of FPV in general. And a lot of people don't do that. There are very few channels out there that teach people how to do this stuff. One being Bruce from uh, RC Model Reviews and the other being Joshua Bardwell and Stu from UAV Futures. All of these guys are trying to go out of their way to help people in the tech side and you know and teaching is not an easy thing though it's not an easy thing i I do strongly disagree with those that can't teach um but at the same time (laughs) i do think that there's some truth to it building inspectors and uh and construction inspectors (laughs) they can't do it they 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 teach and they they become (laughs) inspectors well, you know, like, I think it's not that they can't do it. It's that they put a lot of time into understanding how or why it should be done. And then no, they, they can't lose. do it. <laughs> Trust all me. Right, all right. In the construction realm, I'm like, this motherfucker is retorted. <laughs> so, so to summarize this all up, what Steele's trying to say is that from now on, he's in his description, he's really going to start putting that I edited all his videos <laughs> to this <laughs> point, And he's not yeah. going to be hiding it anymore. So... <laughs> no, I, I, what I, the, the, the I think the, the, the female side of it, I, I would like, and what's interesting to me is watching, um, you know, more fe- female pilots come up through the ranks and, you know, show us what you can do and, and learning and basically, I just want to see, I just want to see more female pilots out there and just smoking the dudes. Cause right now it's a sausage fest and I would like to see some variety and keep it tasteful. Like I want, I'd like to see it tasteful. 
right? I still want to see like an 80 year old dude come out and just smoke all the dudes. That would be fucking dude, funny. His reflexes are D, freaking D4R <laughs> all day. Hey, man, I'm going to do yeah. a roll. <laughs> Well, like the guys in my realm, it's that, like sk- it's like schizos, like ref- it's all like buttery because it's like he's moving all slow on the super stick. slow. Well, it's well, like, the guys in my realm, you know the the FPV wing community, you know a lot mm-hmm. of our guys are are older, and they're fucking good. They're really good um, at flying, and you know that yeah, wing stuff. It's just such an old hobby. Hey, whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> such an old hobby. <laughs> It's what started this hobby. Just, I mean, if you it think is. about it, it it's is. what it got me uh, into. Yeah, that's the truth. It's, right it's there. what it's what happened. But a lot of our, like my demographic, is a lot older guys. So, you guys got the youngins to deal with, which is difficult sometimes. Like you have yeah. to deal with. God damn it! My solder nine <laughs> from nineteen thirty four won't melt this lead. <laughs> and then we have people going, "Oh, I just ripped my face off with a mini quad because I tried to spool it up on my computer." Yeah, <laughs> that's so true. I, uh, um, you know, there's a guy, uh, that does really good videos and, and talking about helpful videos. Like uh, in, in my realm, um, he's, he's, his name's our, his, his YouTube page is Bonafide Pirate. His name's, uh, Keith. Um, and, you know, like, that Bonafide. <laughs> you, you ever, you ever seen this, his page? Bonafide Pirate? Mm-hmm. Like Dragon yeah. Link, uh, uh, Vector setting up all that stuff. And so, like, that's the stuff I, I, I watch instead of the actual, like, the mini quad stuff, like the helpful yeah. videos. And, um, you know, I, I just think, uh, there's, there's a place for everyone. Um, and when, when you find your, your mark, man, it's good stuff. Just, yeah. Yeah. God damn it. You guys so, are freaking. Yeah, wait, just, wait yeah. so what were we originally talking about in the first place, guys? All right. Steel's so dream. I want to, I want to sum it up because we went <laughs> on a huge tangent. Um, <laughs> we're getting, huge tangent. we're getting close to the end of our hour and, uh, the, the whole, the whole situation in the beginning was that we were looking, and I again, I don't purchase a lot of stuff from websites, oh, yeah, especially right. especially large websites like Get FPV and Lumineer and uh, Get and Rota Riot and whatnot. So I was just going to go to the sites, which I have on my computer right now. I'm going to bring up the sites, and you guys are screen shared with me, so you guys can see this stuff. Yeah. And I'm going to click through the three sites. And we're going to decide which one is easier to navigate. So okay. give me a this, give this me a product. Do. Hey, yeah, this is what we're going to. Which is build. Let's see. Build a, a mini quad. Okay. All right. All right. So, and um, also from my experience, like yeah, we'll we'll build a mini quad on all of these sites. So we're, so we're going to build a mini quad on three sites. We'll build one on Get PV, Ready Made RC, and uh, Rotor Ride. Do you guys want to do one on Pyro as well? What well, well, what we need to, we need to do is is talk talk people through it for the listeners that are driving to work and stuff like that. So the yeah. video guys no, that's will be fine. able to follow. Yeah. No, we'll do this. All okay. right. Let's uh okay, so you want to do start with a you want to do pyro drone as well? We'll do one on pyro drone too cuz it's yeah. a little bit smaller of a um Yeah, and Serge uh, is my boy. All right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> let's let's give Serve that that shout out, son. Yeah. And <laughs> Serge, mm-hmm, going to get the Serge, if you don't know Serge, uh, Serge go right. to pyro flip RC, Serge, 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 uh pyro flip RC, check 1, check 2. <laughs> Paul <Pyro> sack. <laughs> so so I'm a Ball new sack. flyer. I'm a new flyer and I, I'm like, "Hmm, what frame should I get?" Yeah, we're going to do it this way. Yeah. So we're going right. to find like a frame. So, and this is going to be like first like so I'm going to do this. As in, if I know nothing about mini quads, I've done a little bit of YouTube research, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to find something. Basically, have a checklist that you wrote down of what you need to build something. And and again, all of this stuff is not paid endorsement by any means. Um, So if there's shit to be talked about a website's flow or how it worked, I'm going to say it. Um, so let's do, and I, from experience, gave me 20 bucks before this, uh, podcast. <laughs> some free just, just from my experience <laughs> in general, get FPV is a little bit pricier than ready made RC. Yes. Um, and I have no experience ordering from the rotor riot store or pyro flip. Okay. So just from my personal previous experience, getting into FPV a year or two or two or three years ago, buying this stuff, get FPV usually had stuff in stock and they usually had a little bit more of an option when it came to mini quad stuff because ready made RC at the time was very based around just FPV in general. Um, but I'm sure it's changed. So right, I'm on right, get FPV's get on site I'm right excited. now. I'm excited. Um, let's do some FPV equipment. So, 
and I want to find a frame. So you typically would start out with your frame, right? Okay. So Let's I'm having... a common having... frame all these sites would have, probably. What's a common one they would all have? They probably won't have anything. Uh, maybe maybe a Shen drones frame. Yeah, but... that's what I'm thinking of Shen drones. Maybe so, like a, a tweaker frame or something. I doubt so it. Micro, micro quad or mini quad? Yeah, so, so this yeah, is this confusing to me. So when I'm on Get FPV site right now, I'm looking at the top, and there's a couple layouts at the top that say FPV equipment, ready to fly drones and parts, quadcopter builds, or okay. no, sorry, bundles, micro quadcopters, yeah. mini quadcopters, commercial industry, and oh, then it has electronics, motors, under, batteries, go to, go radios. Go to the microcopters. So I don't want to get into this. Oh, it's all micro receiver. J- I'm just going to give it's you. It's all micro, no. We yeah, want to like a regular quad. So I'm going to give you kind of like the rundown just based off my experience. This is confusing. If I were coming into this site and I was looking for a quadcopter and I wanted to build something like a racing drone, I would probably click ready to fly drones and parts. Mm. Now, with that said, that's not necessarily what I want, but it is what I would click on because when you when you think drone, yeah, you're click like... click on it. What do they got? Let's click on they it. have like DJI stuff. They have their ready-to-fly drones that um, you have Code Red building for them. So they got QAV-210 ready-to-flies. They got QAV-250 ready-to-flies, which honestly, I don't even know how that's still like a thing. A QAV-250 carbon fiber edition ready-to-fly for $449. I'm pretty sure that thing has turned to dust by now because it's so yeah, old so, so off the bat this is not the section we wanted to go for that, that is no confusing. so this is yeah very confusing they have qav 400s okay. they so, have stretched so where, do, where do we want to go so now i will say that code red a buddy of mine cody works down there and he's building this thing which is the qav xs stretch code red yeah, se I love cody. That dude's red. so now this is difficult to find. Like you, you clicked on ready to fly drones, mm-hmm. and it's like sixth row down on the left side, next to a bunch of stuff that's back ordered, and it's just like, what the hell, man? Yeah, Come on, three hundred and forty three oh. items to you have to go through to find stuff in there. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. So don't go. So, there. Want- anyways, let's let's pick a frame. So we'll go to mini quadcopters because I know that's where we're gonna end up. Like, that's where we needed to go, which, you know, is not exactly... And again, they, they've they linked it to where something that's irrelevant is at the top of the page, like all of these old frames that no one buys anymore, like the QAV250, the G10 QAV250. What, what happens if you hit the sidebar? See how you could, like, uh, minimize things down to, like, uh, a 5-inch quad frame? So there's... Yeah, let's but it still... Down to like 60. So... Oh, well, that's a lot of yeah. frames. So, but still, it's still irrelevant. Oh, like the yeah, first irrelevant things. The first still. quadcopter is a yeah. QAB two fifty G ten. No one is going to buy that now, anyways. No. Okay. So, and then you have the QAB X stretch, which again is that quadcopter that's essentially what Sharpoo's been flying for a while now, but not stretched. It's the same thing as the Carlos frame, except I think it's like the okay. geometry is a little different. And then you have the schizo frame, which. If to be a hundred percent honest, that should be the first thing on this page. The yeah. schizo frame, the QAV, all of the stuff that's irrelevant, like that's relevant these days, should be coming up first. And maybe they'll go and change this shit after they listen to this. But I mean, yeah. the sharp let's, let's four try somebody millimeter. else now. Like we obviously we know this. All right. Well, kind of whack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so let's go to ReadyMade RC. So ReadyMade RC, we're looking at it, and we have this list of stuff on here, which is new products, FPV packages, LiPo batteries, multi-rotors, planes, FPV components. I'm assuming if I want a frame, I'm going to click on multi-rotors. So we click on multi-rotors, and Bapu's face was on the front of that, <laughs> freaking holding <laughs> yeah, the quad. Totally was. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so then this is pretty self-explanatory. So they have mini quad yeah. frames, micro frames, and they have... Different brands. If you want to click a particular brand down brands. here, Connects has a frame. I Connects. I'm sure they do. So let's let's click on Mini Quad fr- Frames, which it has a blackout V1 on there, <laughs> like OG. Hey, that's that's uh, nostalgic uh, reasons that they have that. I'm sure. <laughs> so in, again, here we go with some irrelevance. Like I wanted a Mini Quad Frame. The Gobi 180 comes up. Who the fuck flies four inch anymore? Connex Falcon or Falcor. Who is going to buy that? Uh, what is this Amdro- Amdroid X? That's, I think it's ready to fly, so it comes with everything. Oh, gotcha. So there's a bunch of four-inch bodies that come up. Like, what the hell's going on? Why are these relevant? Ooh, that e- I haven't E-Max. seen one frame. Okay, wait, Shendrone's Cor- Corgi. I don't know that's if that's... Like the that... first closest relevant thing, though. And here's a Krieger. Himself. Krieger at 200. And then you have the Shendrone's yeah, I mean, Hex. It's, be- it's better than the Get FPV one, though. I don't know, man. They're, they started out with four-inch stuff, which is very deceiving. So for people getting know, into this hobby... I'm just saying, like... 
I feel like you could. I don't know. The Get FPV one, I just feel is a little bit more. I think a lot of the time is that because there's so many goddamn mini quads, it's like, like even. Wait, how many how many products are in this? Um, thirty. Oh, it's only thirty. Okay, so that's not. good. I've gone through basically the whole first page and haven't seen one frame aside from the Krieger that is a five inch frame. Yeah, that's messed up too. There's one. There's a bunch of four inch stuff all over this site. Like what the hell? And I haven't even seen anything like. I what. What, what is all this? Get off this well, site. Well, the, Let's go to the Rotor Riot site. The hardest right, part so. is because there's so many mini quads out there, and everyone wants to sell them. Yeah, but you and it's so confusing. It yeah, yeah, the thing about true. that is the organization of this stuff is very crucial. If you want to, I mean, obviously, if they wanted to sell a lot of gobies, or maybe they're trying I mean, to get rid of them, they can put them at the top of the page. But at the end of the day, if you're going to put your best seller like hidden within all of this stuff, it's just not really advantageous I mean, on to the, sell. If you look at the left of the screen, they did put like some company names and things also. So you could go to Astro. No, that's the same thing as if I go back. That's just yeah, all the I know, stuff. But that's... If you don't know the, the company name you're looking for, then yeah, it's going to be a. Uh, click on, yeah, click on the, uh, the X hover. Yeah, so we'll click on X hover. And... Dude, what is that one with the dihedral right there? Did you see that? Yeah, that was a chaos frame, probably. So and they aren't even up to date with their X hover stuff. Mm, the only gotcha. X hover stuff they have is the MXP 180. Yeah, that's so <laughs> wow. Weird. Which that's is old crazy. as hell. I remember Tommy flying that thing with like 1806. Does it say on that it. it's only 14 bucks? It is 14 dollars. Ooh, dude. So apparently they are losing their ass on that. Um, all right, let's go to the Rotor <laughs> Riot store. So we're gonna go to shop. And I'm on the RotorRiot.com website. Multi rotors and frames. Uh, it looks multi- and so. I've actually had a lot to do with organizing this site because, again, like you said, there was a specific thing. Motors were under electronics, mm. and I thought that was kind of obnoxious. Yeah. Like, yeah. why is a motor under electronics? So, and then the frame situation, there wasn't a very, wasn't an easy way to do this stuff. So, you're looking at multi rotors. So, this is very straightforward. We have frames. We have replacement parts. Mm-hmm. If I want to click a frame, let's let's just see. Let's see if it's good. Okay, so the first kit that comes up is something that I would actually use. And that, again, I'm not being paid to say any of this stuff, but it's relevant. <coughs> Bullshit. It's, it's, it is relevant, all right? So Fucking you have pr- a couple products, and all of them are like, hey, here's an RR5, yeah. here's a butter quad, here's a mini quad fusion, the Ladrib edition, there's the x ever Stingy Frame, there's the pre-built Alien by Impulse RC. Um, and then you have the schizo frame, which honestly, I didn't even know we sold because, you know, schizo is not really a part of Rotor Riot, but hey, it's in there. Um, let's, let's just go to, uh, Pyro RC or Pyro Flip real quick. Uh, let's see, shop. We're going on again. And this is, okay, this is weird. There's a drop down menu. What do we have here? New products. Uh, batteries, racing frames right there. Racing frames. Where did you see that? Right above Up one. frame parts. Racing frames. Okay. So, see, he's calling them racing frames. So, does that mean it's a mini quad frame? Does that mean... And then, again, you can't click the whole thing, or can you? Can you click racing frames? Okay, you can. Yeah. So, he clicked racing frames. It brings up a bunch of a bunch of different manufacturers with no pictures of the frames, just manufacturers' names. So... Unless you've done some previous research and you know... Yeah, you got to do some research and know who you want to buy. Unless you know of Pyrodrone or you know of Astro X or X Hover or Immersion RC or, you know, yeah. all these companies, you're not going to know really what to click. So let's just say he set it up so that you would click Pyrodrone because it's in the upper left-hand corner. So you click on Pyrodrone, you get the frames and 3D TPU parts, which, again, should be probably under accessories, not under frames. Um, then you have four inch, five inch, six inch, which to me personally, I would not know what the hell these numbers mean because they're not deciphered as in a length or anything. It's just three, four, yeah, five, yeah. six. What the hell you does that your mean? your favorite number, bro. Yeah. So pick, we're going to click, inch. we're going to click five. No, Everybody whatever. should be flying six inch pussies. <laughs> so we clicked five inch and then you have all of his five inch frames. So say we just clicked on one of these random frames, the Hyperlite five inch racing with three inch arms. So we click on that and it brings up yeah, every, um, everything's going to be labeled pr- racing. Racing. Yes. So this guy, so Surge is labeling all his stuff racing stuff just because, you know, like when yeah. you go online and you search racing drone, that's typically what you're looking for. 
Um, but again, there are thousands of frames out there, and there are so many different options. Technically, that, any any drone can race, bro. Yeah. Technically, you know, you know, any <laughs> any person can race too. Just they might not get out of the bed to get on the race. Start first. running, bro. Can you race your modded out uh, Phantom? Yeah, man. I think <laughs> it's ready to funny go. As hell. It's ready Maybe to go. You should. <laughs> All right, you so show up to that Muncie, that Muncie race with that thing. You know, if I'm not banned from the AMA and I show up to Muncie and I'm allowed to fly, I will bring the Kissed Phantom. Why would you be banned? Because I got banned at Joe Nall yeah. because they think I'm doing stuff that I'm not supposed to be doing. When in the reality, I am doing stuff that I all can be doing legally because I have a Part 107 and I'm flying under Part 107 rules instead of AMA rules. And yeah, the AMA it's a president. Long story. He oh, came up to me and said, you can appeal your bandment or whatever that. you want to call that. it. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not that. wasting my time. That's so, so much fucking bullshit. Anyways, Fuck so we're getting back to purchasing things from websites. Uh, again, I think the most straightforward one is Rotor Riot. But I think it's the most straightforward because I had something to do with it. And it's that's how my thought process works. Mm-hmm. Um, but... I don't know, out of these four websites, which one do you guys think, as a newcomer, would you would well, you have... I would say, would the, you, I would say the Rotor Riot had, is a new store, right? And so they Yeah, so watched, there's not as many products. They watched a lot of the old older websites, and they say, okay, how yeah. can we make this better? So I, would, I wouldn't consider that one... Uh, for, for... I mean, uh, it's, it's, like it's, it's a new one. Easeability of use, I would say the Rotor Riot store is definitely the easiest to navigate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, for parts availability and things, I would say maybe get FPV probably has more, actually, you know what? I don't, I want to say availability, but they have more items on their website. Yeah. Which, which I would, I would beg to differ that probably 40% of them are completely irrelevant to today's standards and technology. That's that's what I'm saying. I was like more, more is not better per se. Yeah. And if you, that's what I was saying. If you look at a lot of their site, a lot of the stuff just says back order. Like they need to get rid of all that. Stuff. That's what I hate about a lot yeah. of the sites. If it's not in stock anymore, if you're not going to carry it, and if it's like outdated, just get it off your site. And I get it. It's better for optimization and things to say, hey, we have 10,000 parts on our site. It'd be a pain in the yeah. ass to keep track of, It doesn't of too. matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter if half of them are out of stock. So, so yeah, f- I was going to say, like, this, when I used to come to get FPV, I would click FPV equipment in the upper left hand corner, and they would have everything labeled out, like video transmitters, goggles, cameras, drones, motors, ESCs. They would have all of that labeled out, where now you click FPV equipment, they only have uh, goggles, cameras, antennas, FPV receivers, which they have a Connex system. Like, who the, who does that? Not on me. screen display, and they have a picture of a freaking some immersion diversity looking thing. What what does hey, that get, even mean? Oh no, Rotor that's Riot power management. Sorry. Quick. Okay. Okay, we're we're over here. How's availability on things? Like, say I want to let's let's go to a camera. I want a camera. I just broke my camera. All I right. Get a new FPV cam. So I would go to FPV, FPV. cameras yeah. under FPV, which is subcategory in FPV. And then okay, you have perfect. the Rotorite Swift, which is thirty nine ninety nine, and okay, they're yeah. available. I want to get. I I need a new lens. So there's a lens right there. Is that available? Yeah. Yep. I broke my lens. How do you know if it's available though? Because it'll say sold out on the screen if it's if it's if okay. It's not. So they do have that. Like it'll pop up. Sold yeah. Out so right like there. let's you find don't have the to product click on it to find out. You know what bugs me is when you order it or when you buy it or click on it. And it says it says available, and it doesn't ship. Yeah, yeah. or it's yeah. it'll. Uh, That's why I'm asking right now. You buy, or you you pay for it, and it'll be like, oh, it'll be available when when ready. Or you know the uh, pre order, okay. so, so it blocks out the whole thing out of stock. That's cool. So yeah, like they actually have a picture on the thing that says out of stock if it's out of stock. Ah. Where like if you were to go to just say get FPV and something is out of stock, so let's go ahead and click on goggles and well, it'll say the- back ordered. It'll say back ordered or you know like yeah no the the worst one uh, I'm just gonna say this right now is go to a uh, ready made RC. I mean we're All not right. trying to bash things. I'm just saying like so if you go here, the the uh, thing that drives me nuts is I noticed on some of them where uh, I gotta find one. I can't think of one off the top of my head. So but at least they have their head. stock numbers. That was one cool thing about Emerge or ready made was. They have listed in like in stock. We yeah. have fifty three of these. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. what I was gonna say though. At one point, I remember it wouldn't say in stock. You just have to see their stock number, and if you didn't pay attention to that, 
you were screwed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there was no like right red away. flag saying, hey, don't buy no this. No red flag or anything. It just was like zero or it would be like minus five because it's back ordered. And yeah. then you'd like click and you're like, wait, why does it say minus six now? Oh, I'm number six <laughs> <laughs> on the back ordered list. Yeah. That, yeah. that used to bug the hell out of me. So, yeah, see, here's one that says out of stock. The Armaton yeah. Chameleon yeah, they're, is they're, out they're of stock. Yeah, better at that then. Oh, that's cool. So, but, so just, yeah, coming How's into Surge's this. Site? Let's see if we can find that on Surge's site. How, how do we know if it's out of stock or not? Are you looking for a oh, camera? Probably. Oh, it says in stock. Yeah, let's just find a camera. Okay, well, shop. Jesus. This is going to take forever because we don't know what's out of stock. Okay, hold on. No, I bet no I... I'm just saying, let's just go shop something real quick. Just go right. where it says shop in the top corner. Hold on. Just, or, yeah, pick on a frame. I'm going to pick something random that might be out of stock. Uh, team Black Sheep frame. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. I bet the the Omerton Chameleon is getting a lot of... There we go. So, it says out of stock, oh, but it it's in green. Okay. <laughs> it's in green underneath. You're like, it's out of stock, but it's green. Should I but buy it's it? Green. I don't it's not know. red. You should just so, make it yellow so you're not sure about it. <laughs> yeah, you'll blend yeah. with the white background. <laughs> so... I mean, Surge's site's looking pretty good, actually. I'm I'm pretty impressed. I've actually never ordered anything from there so i don't i've never been on it before i don't know but it says look at the top any order over 100 bucks gets free domestic shipping i mean that's a pretty good deal yeah the one yeah, thing you know that i cool too is uh if you live in california at checkout you could type in california's coupon code and uh you get a percentage off too so well, that's cool everybody move to california and buy from surge <laughs> Dang, <laughs> yeah, shipping, hate, hate. shipping in the in california is pretty dirt cheap <laughs> Like even when yeah, I show these tabs, like still has bucks, open on his thing. He's looking up Ford vans. He's looking up a van tour. He's looking up cars for sale. Wait, Beta Flight Mo- What? What's up with that Beta Flight Motor tab? Beta Flight Motor orientation. So I was building a TBS <laughs> G2 frame last night, and it's I'm running a power cube on it. And uh, uh, for, yeah, for long you range, know where you're going? Yeah, yeah, it's a long range frame. So I just want to type the in Ponzi Market. I just want to type in Impulse RC Alien and see on We're Amazon. On Amazon right now. Because yeah. this is where I buy all my stuff. If I'm going to buy anything, I buy it from Amazon. Just because usually I can get it super quick. As Prime in, because I have Amazon Prime. And uh, what is this guy doing? The Chaos Racing Quad Kuba Cam Custom <laughs> Impulse AC R- Alien. Wow. Uh, the that, jig is up, buddy. <laughs> what Dude, what is this, Mister? Five stars right now. What is this, Cuba Cam? <laughs> let's look. Let's look at this because I've never even actually searched for Impulse RC Alien on here. We got is this a real clone. alien? We got a first clone. Looks like the look at the top plate. It looks like an alien, and it looks like it's set up exactly like my quad. Huh. Oh, Sorry, yeah. home skillet. I'm gonna I'm gonna shut you down with my real. No, he, with, he's running Emaxes and. But it's got Kiss Twenty Fours on it. It does have Kiss Twenty Four. What the freak is going on? I want to look at another picture. Jesus, it's, it's loading. Wait, 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 go go back to it. You can't click on those pictures on the side. <sighs> it won't. It won't do anything. If it's we'll a clone, the oh, there it goes. There you go. If it's a clone, why would it be char? I mean, why would they be charging so much if it's a clone? It's a, it's. I think it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Is it? Yeah, it's the real yeah, thing. It looks like the real thing. What's up with that antenna on the left, though? Look at that. Yeah, he's got some flub. It's got. Flub. It's, got, got it's kind of a. Sh- <laughs> it's kind of a janky build, as far as like it's just some dude that's probably. I don't know. I don't know what those to loose, make of it. Loose, uh, zip Look the fuck at that zip tie. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, that zip ties. Who zip ties ESCs down? What the hell? Like these are these. So. This is what I'm kind of getting at. Like, there are a lot of people out there that will build ready-to-fly quads, but it's like you just kind of throw it together, and there's not any thought put into how it was done. Look at yeah. this. So there's a 90-degree SMA connector with an RPSMA adapter <laughs> with an with an RPSMA antenna on it, and it's a stubby antenna, which solid, bro. Yeah. It's just that that's, won't that's, break that's, off. That, that antenna, that whole thing is just looking to be freaking ripped off. And then, frame. and then you got your receiving antennas that I'm sure come out of an X4R that are just kind of they they basically took the concept that I came up with, sticking it onto the uh, standoff and heat shrinking it down with a zip tie. But it's kind of like got that that, for years, that puppy bro. dog ear like droop going on. It's like a basset it's hound. A sad it's for diversity. For sure. It's so for sad. Diversity. And like, look at that. Like, what the hell is that doing? That's terrible. Um, just kind of 
Like, and it, I mean, it's a pretty, it's pretty good expensive. price. You're getting a lot of really quality stuff for 650 for, bucks. If you were to yeah, go buy shipping, everything. If you were to go yeah, buy all seven. of that stuff, well, actually, yeah, it's I'd forty dollars shipping. For the way that looks, I would end up not buying it. I would end up build at least building it myself and using. I mean, the look, you got you got the camera that's a non two point five lens. You got someone that's built it for you. I don't know. For the money, I think I would just and it does. What? Wait, is it a real alien? Because I, I feel like the PDB. I don't see any colored. I, uh, uh, Alan I keys. think it's a clone, dude. Because yeah, the PDB looks a little off, and I think that top plate's off too. Yeah, I don't know. I I would. I, I would think pass. it is. I would pass. I think it is. A, uh, Look at I the think it is a clone. Cutout. Look at the cam cutout at the top plate. Yeah, no. That well, that's a that's a stereotypical thing for the four inch frame, but this looks like a five inch. So. I don't know. Maybe it's a five inch arm with four inch body. I think that no, because the K plates are from five inch. I don't know, man. It looks like a clone clone. to me. Nope. I think it's a Cuba Cam custom. So, and this is like this is a huge. This is a problem because you got clones. Oh, there, like this guy, Chaos Race Drone Quad by Kumba Cam. Seven hundred dollars customs. Impulse RC five inch Alien. Kiss FC, Kiss Twenty Four M, Emax, Red Bottom, TBS Triumph, and more. Why is it forty bucks to ship that? That should be like at least and, a sub, at least like. And this guy bodies. is marketing could, it could, could as if it's up. like my quad because you know he's got a Thunder Power on there. He's got the Kiss FC, and it's an on Alien, which you know, at the end of the day, is pretty much the exact setup I run. But if he's cloning the frames and getting the frames for like a quarter of the cost. Then yeah, I mean he's going to be making yeah, some money. Nope. Yeah, he's making. Nope. I, I mean, all I could say is like, if I'm going to be building a frame, Mm-mm. and I'm doing everything and tuning it and all that stuff myself, yeah, yeah, it might be closer to a thousand dollar price point like this one is, but I'm not going to be giving you ripped off clone stuff like yeah. That this kind of like upsets me when I see stuff like this and it's like not built Dude. the right way. This guy's gonna fly it. Whoever buys it for this much money and it's just gonna like ripped antennas off and have so many problems and things like that. I don't. What I don't get is why is shipping forty bucks? Like, like when I ship a wing, which is a lot bigger. Yeah, you could go priority mail for like seven bucks yeah. or something. Like, so hold so on, much? I'm gonna read you some of these comments, and I'm gonna I'm gonna debunk all of the all of the haters haters and naysayers out there. Right? These are the comments uh, re- reviews on this frame, and then I think we should end because we're pushing over an hour now. <laughs> uh, so very <laughs> clean, going, very guys. clean build. Very clean build, attention to detail, thanks. So he's got this thing, and he took pictures of it on his bed at night. Like, what the hell are you doing? Some LED um, lights. So anyways. It's in his hotel room that he got it primed to, bro. That thing's ready to go. Uh, that was the first comment. He gave five stars. Second guy said, I got an alien for my son for Christmas. Kumba build is A++++. A, A++. Just as good as the Rotorite alien quad for $250 less. First of all, <laughs> first of all, to be fair, if you price out exactly the alien build that I have, it comes out to about 750 bucks. So for a hundred more dollars, you get the real stuff and you get the tried and true situation yeah. where this guy is spending, actually, did I say, what did I say? 750? I think it's 680 actually. So for th- basically the same exact money, you're getting the exact same drone, except it would be a real like a real thing. Yeah. And again, it's the frame that you're real that you're really so it is a real alien. That well, one's a real alien. That what looks like that a ro- that picture? looks like an RR5. What the heck? Yeah, why is that yeah, that's picture a different, completely different? That's a different quad, dude. That's a different quad. Okay. All right. Know. Well, there's some there's the, some uh there, sheepery going on there. There's some shady shit going on. Maybe this guy's writing his own reviews or something. Meow. Uh then building these sucks, but eventually you'll have to do it. It's a hobby. Uh, thank you Dude, look very at much. This picture right above it. That's a real. Alien this is an RR five. Yeah. No, okay. it's not because it has the purple screws. No, but that's just a, that's a that's a real alien though. Like the top plate, everything's like how it should be. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's kind of scary. I, I don't. But at the end of the day, like, what do you trust? Do you buy it and spend seven hundred dollars and trust and nobody. realize you build it yourself? You build it yourself, goddammit. I don't know, but I like that shirt that shows up on the very top for uh, just a random, like, the one that get says, in, get loser. in, loser. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a random alien situation. It's, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> just so people that aren't watching it was a, uh, like, a UFO beam coming out of, like, a, 
yeah, yeah. The flying saucer and there's someone going up towards like the flying saucer and said, get in, loser. <laughs> so, and then here's yeah, apparently, sure. here's the dude selling the frames for 120 bucks, which is, I don't know if that's legit. Like Why I'm going to look at the PDB though. Yeah, it looks a, real, man. Symbol there. It looks real. The top plate's it, different not, too than the other one. That's what I'm saying. It's a different top plate. No, that's an older picture. top plate. Oh, okay. No, that's not an older in the top other plate. picture though. This is an older top plate. What we're looking at right now, but in the other picture, it's completely different. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. No, okay. I mean it's probably real, but you know, I don't even know. I don't know if, it's I don't know if Impulse know. knows that they're Fine. selling this dude selling them on the store, like on Rotorite or I'm sorry, on Amazon. But at the end of the day you don't know and that's kind of the whole thing is like you gotta you either buy from a company that you don't know if it's legitimate product or not or you buy it from a company that you do know and you can trust and that that's kind of how it works at the end of the day you say hey um like yeah i'm gonna spend a little bit more money but yeah i'm gonna get the customer service yeah i'm gonna get the insurance that all of the stuff is actually legitimate and if i have a problem with it i can call and get it replaced or get it fixed yeah. um where if yeah. you buy it from china banggood any kind of situation where i know banggood is sells legitimate stuff and all that stuff but you're not going to get the customer service you're not going to get the nope. kind of you're gonna get sunny. interaction you're gonna get sunny yeah. from who knows where yeah. So and if you buy from the Rotorite store and there's a problem, you could talk to Steel, you could talk to Stingy, you could talk to You're any probably going to talk to Andre. You You're probably going to talk to a <laughs> dude named Andre that works the store, but I'm you could kidding. technically talk to me and I would know what you're talking about and I would be able to give you advice because I do know those products and hey, you know, what's your pids? Yeah, at the end of the day, what are you going to do? You're going to buy some stuff that you got to figure out on your own because you're getting into something new. Um, or, I mean, like me, I'll give you a great example. I'm getting into something new right now. I'm buying a van, as you guys saw. Is it a rapey van? It is going to be a rape van. <laughs> and I'm going to I'm gonna be building it out so that I can camp from it. Okay. Ah, cool. Um, and I don't know anything about it. I don't know what van to buy. I don't know how to rig it out. I don't know what to do. Insulate. So, so what am I going to do? Am I going to go to Banggood and buy all of my van parts and for really cheap? Because, yeah, dude, come on, you know, like, whatever. Probably not. Probably I'm going to go find someone that's done something like the idea that I want to do for what I'm going to do with this van. And I'm going to essentially either copy or modify what they did in a way that is that suits my needs. Yeah. Um, Just don't spray so, paint. We have your children on the side of it. And don't spray paint all. free candy. Don't <laughs> spray paint. We have your yeah, children. You need to go on those spray painted like epic unicorn, <laughs> like murals on the side. <laughs> or the wow. Aztec warrior with like, <laughs> he's like holding holding his lady. Just dare. Why? Why you take her from me? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let's end this because Pizza Hut's here. And, oh snap! Uh, all right. I didn't order it. But <laughs> thank you guys for listening. Uh, if you enjoyed this, then uh, give us a. I don't know. What do you do? Can you subscribe yeah, to our? Like, yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. So so Everything. we're on a leave comments. So we're on what what Stitcher now? Um, yeah. Yeah. Po- Stitcher. What, Podbean. Libsyn. Uh, iTunes. iTunes. Libsyn. Uh, all yeah. those are kind of yeah. all linked together. So if you guys are trying to want, want more content, uh, this was a video uh, podcast for the guys who want the video and yeah, this audio is for content. YouTube only. Yeah. Um, and then if you want the audio only, you can click and do whatever. You yeah. can find it on those four sites. What, iTunes, Stitcher? What are the other two? Uh, any podcatcher that's out there. Like I have Podcast Addicts, and they are, they are, it just pops up immediately. Yeah. Um, so you know whatever it's your whatever your your preferences. Yeah, and if you're looking for if you're just new listening to this and you don't know where the video is going to be at and you want to look at the video, it's going to be on your uh, YouTube channel, right, Steel? Yep, that'll okay. be on Mister Steel's YouTube channel, and I'll be putting yeah. up these podcasts. All of them will be coming out on uh, my YouTube channel just as like extra content because people some people were complaining that they couldn't download the podcast on uh, whatever platform that they had. So you know, I figure if people know about if they watch me on YouTube, 
and they're complaining about finding something else on another site or something, then they're going to be able to use it on YouTube, and it might not get the best traction in the world. Um, but you know, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna put it out there if you want to. Yeah, if you want to listen yeah. to it, if you want to watch it, it's gonna be something that you play in the background. You're not gonna be watching the video probably. Yeah. You're probably just gonna set it up and let it go. Also, hit yeah. the like and, and the subscribe been, too. It's been helpful. I've told a couple people that have like uh, that I know. They were asking where to go to watch it, and they're not very like a uh, computer or not watch it, listen to it. They're not very savvy with like looking things up and stuff. I just told them to go to your. Uh, yeah. your deal so made it yeah. easy yeah. And, and and like and subscribe hit the thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't doesn't matter because it's all positive interaction um, yeah and we have the Instagram page still and the uh, Facebook page so go check it out and we're working on the website so, uh, soon hopefully right yeah we'll yeah. have some product for okay. you guys as well on there. got some cool so. stuff in the works the endeavor is real, guys. Stay tuned. All right. See you All guys. Right. Later. Bye. Boom. That's it for this week. Link up with us next week here on Failsafe Weekly Podcast, where our links are locked in. Like what you're hearing? Make sure to follow us on all the social platforms and subscribe. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you at the next location. Peace. Peace. <laughs>